The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round, all through the town. My name is Frank Benson and I'm a Chief Finance Officer for a bulk oil distributing company in Ghana. And my name is Cookie Benson. I'm a dentist and we've been married for the last six years. My wife and I used to live and work abroad until the kids were born. And we needed to raise them in a place we could call home. And that was the big question. Where can we call home? Luxury real estate in Ghana has become one of the fastest growing industries today, attracting several foreign investors from the world over and giving stiff competition to locally owned real estate companies who struggle to keep up. But over the past few years, one company has stood up tall, a company that has made a lot of strides, one that has become a household name. This is Imperial Homes, your signature of luxury. Imperial Homes is a wholly Ghanaian-owned business whose cardinal principle is value chain enhancement and stakeholder advancement. Imperial Homes is committed to quality, safety, sustainability, cost efficiency and engineering excellence which provides assurance for its clients and the communities they serve. Statistically, when you look at accommodation in Ghana, and especially in Accra, there is high shortage of accommodation uh, being in, in the residential and also offices and also within the last seven years there has been an increase of foreign companies and also high net worth Ghanaians are coming back to Ghana and these people when they are coming they need to have a very top quality place to stay and also to do business. So that's why Imperial Homes was set up to make sure we're able to meet the need of these people. Our mission is to create a top quality accommodation and offices for our clients. In terms of our vision, we want to be seen as one of the driving force of the country in terms of providing accommodation in terms of providing jobs, in terms of our contribution to the society. Well, the four pillar uh, mantra is the basis of the company. The client satisfaction, creating enhanced value, safety at work, and investment in our people. Uh, we, we know that in Imperial Homes, we, we strive for perfection in everything that we do. So whatever we do, we need to make sure the client is satisfied. As you can see in Accra, most of the prime areas, we have a lot of old buildings. And in Imperial Homes, we, we focus on the prime areas. We see an old building, and then we go there, we turn it around. We, we create the value for the client. Most of the construction companies or the industry in Ghana Safety is not adhered to. It's about Imperial Homes, whatever we do, we need to make sure the staff who are working there, the subcontractors, and the visitors who come there are always safe. We believe that employees are the core, because if your employees are not improved, you cannot go anywhere. So we invest in them. We've sent most of them to universities, some of the engineers are doing their MBA program. We have recently opened up our Imperial staff gym, which is fully equipped gym. So investment in employees is very, very crucial to us. Imperial Homes is driven by its collective desire and vision to build and deliver quality, beautiful homes of enduring value. Imperial Homes started quite small but big. 
started with our first project, which is an Imperial Court, located at Agbeleng Bay. It's a 23-number apartment equipped with a swimming pool and a gym. We also have Imperial Lodge, which is an eight-number eight apartment, also located in Jaulu. We have the Premier Place Apartments, located at Airport Residential. It's also very unique, a 20-number apartment. It has duplexes and triplexes, and it has a swimming pool and a gym as well. The Mankata Apartment, located in one of the most expensive streets in Airport, which is the Makata Avenue. It comes with um, a swimming pool, fitted with a gym, and all you can call luxury. We have Imperial Gardens located at Ridge, behind Alisa. There's also a 16-number apartment with a gym and a swimming pool as well. We currently have three of the projects hoping to complete by December 2015. And these are the Bentley Grove townhouses. We have Imperial Grove, which is hopefully to complete by 2015. And the other ones ongoing are Bentley Place and Airport Residential. Bentley Oak, also in Cantonments. We have Imperial Oak, also in Agbalengpe. And the Ayana Vistas, also in Cantonments. It's so hard to get property in Accra. The litigation surrounding it is so overwhelming and we are advised that the best place to get a property is at the outskirts of Accra. But our friends suggested to us that we check out Imperial Homes. We were a bit skeptical at first and we didn't want to get disappointed. But all the same, we went ahead to check it out. So we visited their website, which I must mention was very informative and very user friendly. And our very first call to their offices made all the difference. When a client expresses an interest in any of our properties, we invite them into the office and we take them through the kind of projects that we have. Our brochure and our models have the floor plan and also the standard fitting and fixtures that we have for the project. So he or she gets the chance to know what will really go into the property how the finishing is going to be like. From there, we book an appointment with them to take them to the site that they are interested in and um, they have a look. Depending on where the property has got into, if it's an off-plan sale, you're able to make some changes, say where you want your kitchen to be, if you want it to be a bit smaller or you want us to close some door and pull something backwards. The architects are on standby to help or redesign to fit your taste. I'm settling on the Mankata. Definitely, mm. definitely. Yes. For me, it has like a lot of space. I can mm. raise my children in some nice, serene environment. The location is just on, on the one point, and then uh, it's very close to my office, very close to the airport. Yes. Oh. Um, I'll be able to, yeah, exactly. So sure. it's, it's just amazing. After the client has. Um, expressed interest in the property he wants to buy or wants to purchase and we've all agreed on a particular property. We draw a payment plan at um, the client's convenience and the company convenience as well. Imperial Homes works with the best and has invested heavily in its team of competent architects, civil engineers, quantity surveyors and property managers who are specialized in the company's areas of operation. Imperial Homes has also leveraged on its team's core competencies to provide one-stop construction solutions to its clients. I'm Nani Kuyabeme. I'm Principal Architect and Managing Director of Axenis. Axenis is, is an architectural and engineering consultant firm. Um, we handle projects from inception to completion. Imperial Homes is a major client of ours. Um, we're like the engine room of Imperial Homes. We, all their projects are conceived here, um, developed here, and uh, engineered here. We have to kind of um, achieve the client's brief against the specific conditions of the site and the uh, planning regulations of the area. And specifically for Imperial Homes, um, because they are a developer in their marketing, we go further with our designs. We do the 3Ds, we have visualization, we 
give them um, material that they can use for their marketing. We are flexible with the spaces. We have to design in such a way that their buyers are able to affect the design somehow when they come and buy. Looking at our style of architecture, it's very contemporary. Um, so you notice with a lot of um, all the Imperial Homes um, projects, there's uh, free-flowing spaces, there's a lot of natural light and we try to bring the outside in. It's very, um, a bit minimalistic also. And then we are very expressive with the color and texture. After design, we are engaged to supervise construction. So I have a different architect assigned to every site of Imperial Homes. And then I have a project manager assigned to Imperial Homes, coordinating all these sites. I'm Aku Akwina, I work with Axenes. We are at Premier Place Phase 2. It's a 31 number apartment building project located at airports on the Liberation Road. And I'm the project architect on the project. Today I'm here for a routine inspection. And aside that, um, there's been a change request uh, made by the client. So we are here to make sure that what has been done on the drawing conforms with what is on site. My name is Ronald Atipo. I'm the site engineer for Imperial Homes on the Premier Place 2 site. I'm in charge of quality control of all construction work on site. Basically, we are trying to realize the architect's dream on the ground. So when there's any discrepancy or I don't understand anything, I call on the project architect to come around to give more explanation. Every month, I send a progress report to the head office, Imperial Homes office, so that the office knows what is going on on site. My name is Mauricio B. Cacao. I'm from the Philippines. I'm in charge for uh, finishing do the supervision of quality control, uh, like uh, internal and external plastering work, tiling fitting, electrical fitting, and final handing over. My experience is about 15 years. I'm working in Dubai, I'm working in Qatar, and I'm working in, uh, also here in Ghana. Because we have an established relationship with Imperial Homes, even when we have finished the project and people are living there, we are still engaged with them when they want to change things or do renovations or anything. We are still involved and it helps because we are where the, um, we conceive the design in the first place. So whatever um, intervention we bring in, we are still maintaining that original design intention. When the key is finally handed over to the client and my client is happy, we inform them about a one-year maintenance period where we are going to um, introduce a maintenance team to them. So when they have any issues in the building, they report it back to us and we don't charge them for that. Our homeowners have an association and we do that because they live in a community. Even if it's just four structures on the land, it, they enter through one gate, so they live in a community. In all our sites, we have facility managers there. They maintain the common areas and they always make sure everything is done properly on site. We love our home to bits. The architecture and the room layout is amazing. My favorite family time is when we are all at the dining table enjoying our home. Mine is to see my kids happy during their bath times and their innocent faces when they're sound asleep. We sleep well too, but my overall best moment is snuggle time with my boo. <laughs> After seven years of successfully impacting the real estate industry and creating jobs and opportunities for many Ghanaians, Imperial Homes have set up the Imperial Charity Foundation to create a social change and be of service to the community. The Imperial Foundation is our way of giving back to the society. Uh, we believe that any responsible company should be able to give back. Once the Lord has blessed you with anything, it's, it's, I think it's right that you give back to whichever society where you have benefited from. So Francis Biney, the CEO, you know, uh, was doing a lot of charitable work as Imperial Homes was growing, but then it wasn't sort of formal structured. It was just, you know, digging out of the company's profit any time, but then realized that no, it has to be structured so that a certain percentage uh, of the uh, company's fund will go to this foundation. 
Um, basically, we've impacted education sector, healthcare. We've also impacted the lives of women and children when it comes to peculiar cases like victim of abuse, etc. We've also um, supported media houses who have had commendable ideas as regards supporting communities in Ghana. In the projects that we've done so far, we've built a two-classroom block at Hogbo. It's a community in the outskirts of Accra. Prior to that, the children were subjected to studying under trees and we put up this classroom block to enable them to have a better attitude towards education. The uh, enrollment went up like 800%, where all the little communities dotted around now wanted to send their children you know, to the school because the environment was much nicer. We've also spent over 30,000 Ghana cities um, in school fees for um, students right from senior high school to tertiary education. And we've also renovated uh, the first floor maternity ward at Kolibu. Um, it's for it's to enable the expecting mothers to have a safer environment and a conducive place at the time of birth. The ward had been run down, equipment had broken down, washrooms non functioning, beds broken, etc. etc. So when Imperial Homes came in, we were very happy. The world has been made very conducive for staff and patients and actually a healing uh, environment so that patients arrive already healed before uh, care begins to complete healing for them. If all companies will emulate what yeah. Imperial Homes have done, Ghana and for that matter, uh, Kolebu being part of it, would have been a very wonderful place for all of us to be. In, in 10 years time, when you come back, you will know that your effort and resources have not been in vain. Some of the future plans of Imperial Foundation includes extending our reach to various sectors in the country. The next major one is a school which is going to be in my town in Dumasa. Now it's a six classroom block, uh, but you know, with a bit of design, not the usual stable looking all the doors, you know, they've added a bit of design, a bit of colour to it. So you have class one to three and then, you know, four to six and then the IT centre in the middle and it's fully air conditioned. And the foundation is hoping to build 20 in the length and breadth of the country. We have a commitment to supporting um, the communities that, uh, that surround us and also empowering the people who are in those communities. I would say the future is bright because the, I mean, the Ghanaian taste is changing. Because when we were children, apartments were, were not something that people would want to live in an apartment. So in terms of our job, we know that the future is bright. There's going to be more players in the, in the industry, which is good, which brings a lot of variety. And um, in prayer homes, we are going to grow stronger and stronger with our designs and the quality of work that we do. We've told our friends about Imperial Homes. It's one of the best lifetime decisions we made together as a family. And next week, we are attending a housewarming party for one of my colleagues who's also just bought one of the Premier Place apartments. She moved to Ghana last year, and now she also has a place to call home. Thank you, Imperial Homes. Yeah, we're very grateful. Well, now you know, if you are looking for a luxurious apartment or house to buy, if you want a place to call home, call Imperial Homes because they are your true signature of luxury. Aquaba, welcome home. Don't forget you are